so hello everyone today again once again i am back with another video uh, based on simulation of related to proteus software you know so as you can see i am doing with 8.9 version but if you want uh, you can search where whichever version you have but you need for today's project you will need raspberry pi because um, so far we have done some um, experiments or you know some uh, projects miniature small projects student friendly projects based on microcontroller named arduino but we also have another microcontroller group which is known as raspberry pi so using raspberry pi as well some experiments can be done and obviously simulation based just like before uh, we can do something and due to pandemic we can focus on simulation so i think it's it won't be a bad idea to just try out uh, simulations first instead of hardware so just like uh, the before systems we are going to open our software first the home page will look something like this and you are going you want to uh, click this uh, new project so that um, one page one window comes where you can save your file you know you can at least name your file and give a destination so it is initializing it will take a little bit of time i guess let's wait for that time and meanwhile we can name our project as like raspberry pi or you know light um or you know any any name you want okay for now i'm just writing raspberry pi for now okay so it is one uh, using raspberry pi uh, you need to take one schematic just like the other uh, if you want to make a pcb layout you can do that but for now since i'm just doing it for uh, simulation purpose so i don't need any pcb layout and obviously you need one flowchart so here in the previous uh, experiment or previous systems what we did was we selected arduino family from here but now since our focus is raspberry pi so we are going to take raspberry pi and the controller pi tree is really nice to work with and also those who have worked with hardware uh, you all you know that raspberry pi is a very um, i mean it's a little bit heavy because it contains extra ports some uh, usb connectors some uh, you know extra ports which uh, arduino doesn't have and uh, it comes with one sd card slot you already know the pin configuration also uh, there are 40 pins in total so a nice big project uh, consisting of many components can also be made using this raspberry pi and along with that uh, as you can you already know maybe if you have searched or have worked with it raspberry pi has its own operating system so uh, you can i mean configure it obviously linux uh, is one that is widely used along with that raspbian is another one which can be downloaded and also uh, configured easily with raspberry pi another is windows iot core okay that is another one another operating system so anyways that can be uh, possible for hardware and the programming language that raspberry uses is python programming language so python is more easy as well because uh, the functions are functions and you know all the uh, syntax is also a little bit different than uh, what arduino uses Arduino is using a normal C, uh, C++ language, so it is, uh, I mean, Raspberry Pi is also another system, you know. So here, uh, using Raspberry Pi by default, you can see, just like Arduino was available by default, as we could have selected in our other experiments, Arduino, but here we are going to select Raspberry Pi, okay, for, our, uh, for today's purpose. So what is the basic first <clears> the <throat> first experiment that can be done okay so let's take from the visual designer we can add some components here let's add peripherals okay this is one system that we can follow 
So from here, uh, since it's Raspberry Pi, you will see all the components by default for Raspberry. Okay, so let's take one LED light, which is red light. Okay, the very uh, the very basic task we can do is to turn on and off one LED light. So let's uh, cross this visual studio output for the moment and from this LED light this is your component which is already you have selected so it's available in your schematic diagram as well so initially the LED light is okay not on initially the LED light is actually off so in the setup portion you can just place it like this and in the loop okay you can define for how much time your LED light will be on that can be done using this delay okay. so let's say your LED light first light okay red light you're only dealing with one light right now so you may say around like four seconds okay four seconds is nice or five seconds uh, as long as you want that is totally your system so you can design accordingly as you want so this is the first stage so let's give a simulation okay before simulation you know you need to build the project so you can build it but before that there is debug option so you can check if all the programmer is selected or not and all those things are available or not if it is available then you can give one OK and automatically debug is activated and then give a build project option so here compilation will be done very in a very short amount of time since you have only very limited tasks to do right so simulation is on so now you can see So it is taking around 4 seconds and your LED light is on. Okay. So again, after 4 seconds it will be off. not off yet okay let's stop it again this is for basically one light okay on for four seconds and it should be turned off So you can design this system for three LED lights, lights as well. So let's take three other lights. So add components. So you can uh, using three LED lights. You know already that um, one system like traffic control system can be made, and one yellow light you have selected, and another green light as well. Okay. So whichever light you want to, I mean for blinking for a small amount of time you can do that okay so just take LED light second LED light to be on okay so 
so if you want you can delay the time actually and for how long your second LED light will be on that you can also specify and initially your second LED light should be off so you can do it in the setup portion as well and another off in here okay next is third LED light this can be on for the next task and initially it has to be off as well in the setup portion now you can use one delay option here let's say the delay time is not 100 millisecond let's say it is one second okay so the red one was for one second and the green one okay green one is let's say two seconds it is on it is supposed to be on for two seconds and then it will be off again okay so this is how let's uh, give one simulation so far okay so what do we have a light first one which means red one on and then off second one on and then off third one on and then off okay so let's try it out okay let's go to the schematic okay so it is on two seconds on off okay again four seconds red one for uh, three seconds sorry one second and then okay so it is working so if you want in uh, what happens usually in traffic control system is uh, green light or yellow light gets uh, I mean blinked for some time so that the driver or the uh, of the vehicles can get a little bit time to start the engine you know immediately after uh, stopping it stopping it for a while so red light indicates the stopping situation yellow light is let's say for um, transition time from stop to on okay so we can do one thing we can blink this yellow light for some time meanwhile and then go to the green which means on stage so you can modify your system as you want actually so for blinking state what we can do is we can just try for blinking it here okay instead of blinking for one second okay one second is uh, yellow light will be on and off drastically but for blinking let's take really small amount of time okay so we can again have how many times you want to blink let's say I'm giving two times or three times so it depends actually so blinking for one stage okay one stage is done and let's say I'm giving a delay time of 500 millisecond or 800 milliseconds okay 800 is fine okay first stage next is uh, since i don't have time here i'm in space here okay i don't have enough space so i can uh, you know split it so here i can design the rest of my flow chart so blinking stage second blinking stage okay so how many times you want to blink that's totally up to you so here uh, delay as well so I am giving two stages for blinking so the blinking stage will be very small let's say 800 okay. for very small amount of duration if you want you can try for another blinking state here as well so let's say if we have space we can include that as well three times blinking can be possible obviously on and then off another delay so 
So here also 800. So since our project is very simple one for today, okay. So this is how your final flowchart should look like. So if you want that, uh, you want to split your flowchart loop operation in uh, for first. Let's say you can split it here as well, okay. So you split. So this is the first one. It will continue and then you have the last one, okay. If you think these are not fine, you can do it. Or you can just give undo. Okay. So fine. So anyways, uh, it is also okay. Your flowchart will work. So you can give a save and <coughs> give project build or directly simulation and it will be building again. So successful again. Compile successfully. So red is on for 4 seconds. Then yellow light is on for 1 second. And it will be off and blinked, you know. So drastic change, two times it has blinked, but for uh, 800 milliseconds. So if you want, you can increase the delay time as well. Okay, 800 was, you know, very small amount of time. That was, that's the reason why it was uh, not trained properly. So you can take seconds and instead of, let's say one second blinking, fine, or two seconds. Totally up to you. And we had another stage lastly. So here also, what, one second, okay? So it is a very basic project. Even though it is a very basic project, uh, traffic light can be, you know, controlled using raspberry as well so if you want you can take manually button as well button system so you can see it is on the green light then red light <coughs> I think it was not saved before anyways uh, I can save it now save this project again and now I can give a simulation again so red light on yellow light okay Green, okay. So anyways, if you want, you can uh, play with your delay system, you know, increase or decrease it, depending on how you want to play with it. You can also take, instead of blinking, the previous one was also okay, just three lights will just glow up, okay. So those can also be done. So it's totally up to you how you are going to design it and how you are going to modify your system. Anyways, I guess... Um, Raspberry Pi, you know, you learned something today and maybe you can utilize this system for your, any project, any uh, future project as well, okay? So thank you for listening to this uh, video and seeing, going through it. And uh, if you want, you can practice it at home as well using this uh, software. So thank you very much. Thank you all. I'm taking your leave for now until another video in future um, thank you so much